Thomas, we can say that this, this is the officially the first race for you as a team manager of uh, the director of this uh, performance. What do you feel? Mm, pressure. Uh, A lot of pressure. Yeah. pressure. I feel uh, I'm very proud uh, to be leading that team now. Uh, first, I have a, a thought for Xavier uh, for all the time we, we spent together and uh, for all the team he, he built uh, and we built together. Now I have the chance uh, and the responsibility to try to carry over and uh, what I will try to, to do with good result this weekend. Uh, speaking about uh, internal things of the SA performance, because I, I saw it, it's uh, been very nice, the fest that you make uh, and all the team make uh, to Xavier for the last uh, day. Yeah, of course. Uh, it was, it was a, a, first a big thank you for him. Uh, due to sanitary conditions, it was not able to, to have a proper celebration. Uh, but still, it was very important for the whole team to thank uh, Xavier. Uh, in reward of the 26 years he passed uh, leading, leading us and all the victories we get together. And so we can speak about Valencia. This is a circuit that uh, you know and the team know, but it's some difference. There are some difference. Yeah, there is some difference. So Valencia is still Valencia. Uh, there is some nice adjustment that has been done here by, the, by Formula E. Uh, the circuit will, uh, uh, will better uh, fit to our car with that modification, but still it will be a very quick and very long track. Uh, we will see uh, a lot of very interesting strategy here, a lot of energy saving, which is the art uh, and the DNA of, of Formula E, and it will probably reward the very efficient power thing. Which can be the, uh, the principal topic, uh, the mm, management of energy, maybe? Yeah, yeah, definitely energy management will be the topic here this weekend. Uh, qualifying will be important, but uh, the biggest thing will be able to have a very efficient power tank, very efficient uh, strategy, and to be able to, to save energy as much as possible. Uh, the last race in Rome has been uh, the debut of the new powertrain. Now there are modifications, a lot of things, or is it exactly the same and was perfect in the first race? No, it, it was not perfect. Never, never is uh, Nothing is never perfect, of course. Uh, but we didn't have very long time to, to modify things, so we have some small adjustment. Uh, but it's just, just detail, and uh, we'll try to extract uh, the maximum of what we have so far, what we have not fully done in Rome yet. At the end, has been published a uh, few hours ago, the new calendar for Formula E with the new uh, uh, tracks and, yeah. and data. What do you think about, and what do you think about uh, so much races in two heater? It's, it's very very good that Formula E managed to, to get that uh, calendar together. Uh, we all know the difficulties in the track, in the sanitary conditions at the moment. So the, the more important is that we are able to race. We are able to race in safe conditions and on a very nice track. Uh, what we, we want is to have nice battle on track. What we will get, we will get 15 races, uh, which uh, has been a big achievement from Formula E. So yeah, we are, we are very happy with the calendar that has been published. In normal conditions, uh, you like the double header races or not so much? Uh, to be honest, from a personal point of view, I like single races because I like to have a single winner. And uh, but as we say, we have, we have to cope with the sanitary condition we have. Uh, we have to reward Formula E for all the organization and all the effort they have done. Uh, we all have to adapt. Uh, we are very happy to be here in Valencia to, to have two nice races. It's a long, long weekend, uh, but it will be very exciting. Thank you very much. Thank you.